circle and I am hiding behind this giant saddle stars horse and I cannot wait to get out of the box. Thank you Blip Toys. Sorry, ooh, dark lighting. Thank you Blip Toys for sending me this. Um, if you guys are not familiar, the brand also makes a doll line called Hearts for Hearts, which I have reviewed uh, earlier this month. So definitely check that out and I'll post that at the end of this video if you guys are interested in seeing it. How big this was gonna be. I've never even noticed these dolls before and I was just like, oh my god, a horse. That's kind of cool. I want to see like, you know, maybe my dolls on horses and like something different because I never really collected that as a kid and then I got this giant box and I was just like this is amazing <laughs> how did I not though like this existed these are so cute and big like I can't even get like I'm gonna have to go on the other side of the camera to show you guys this here's the outside of the box here is the back of the box and it comes with of course a horse a horse oh I'm rhyming watch out <laughs> uh, it also comes with accessories and a bracelet for you guys too this particular horse is named sky and let me see if I can get so it comes with a horse brush bracelet bridle rein saddle blanket saddle bag four hair clips and four or excuse me eight horseshoes and let me turn it around I'm gonna stand up because this thing is so big <laughs> So here's the inside and you have a giant horse and the inside has the story and journal inside. So if you guys are really into horses in general, like this is really, really cute and big. Um, it says about me. So evidently this horse guy lives in Arizona, was born November 9th, 2008. Favorite food is sage salad. That actually sounds really good. Hobbies is stargazing and painting and hiking. Uh, quote, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. Good advice. I like that. And they have like Sky's journal. So she has a journal on the side. She's created, free spirited, and affectionate. Here's what it looks like in the package. And I'm going to grab a couple of my other dolls, like different size dolls, and see how they fit on this. So if you guys are looking at getting a horse to maybe go and expand your doll play set, um, or, you know, just wanting a horse in general for like one of your fashion dolls, I want to see kind of what it looks like on there to give you guys an idea. So let me take this thing out of the box and get a closer look at it. <laughs> All right, so you're zooming in a little lower here so you guys can see the horse. Now it has super long hair and it touches all the way down as I drop it. It touches all the way down to the table that she's standing on. And she has bright blonde hair. She has the saddle on the back, which I'm gonna leave rubber banded on just so it stays in place. I like how it has, I guess, is this called reins? Like, I don't know what this is called that goes around the face, um, but that you can actually like, hold, I think is really cute. Like, I like that you can actually put a doll on it and she can kind of like be riding the horse. Um, it does come with this little bag and it actually does open so it's something that is functional and you can put like little accessories in there like it comes with these hair clips that actually clip on for you or for the horse and it pops open so if you don't want to put all of them on you or the horse you can put them in the bag so it clips on like that and then you can just grab the braid which this one already has one but you always can have more hair clips. Let me clip it on here so you guys can see what it looks like. And then you get more like that. I think she's really cute. I like the color scheme on it. I like the face. Here, I'll give you guys a closer look at the face itself. Got a little detail in the eyes, a little bit of shadowing going up to kind of give it more of that realistic horse look. She has white at the bottom of her feet, hooves, hooves, I guess you can say. Now she does come with, which I thought was kind of funny, made me laugh. I was like, all right, so dolls, like fashion dolls of like people come with shoes. She comes with different colored uh, hooves. Oops. So I'm gonna put on, I like pink, obviously. So I'm gonna flip her here this way so you guys can see. You just snap them right on and they're like a rubbery material. I guess it's like, I guess it's kind of like a hard plastic material and you just put them on. You can do two of each color if you wanted to. You don't have to do all the same ones, but look, it just like clips right on like shoes would. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Instead of like a Barbie or, you know, another doll coming with different high heeled shoes, your horse can have different colored hooves and I thought that was really cool and it still stands balanced well without um with the rubber uh, hooves on versus the other one it does come with a brush which obviously if you have a hair or mane I guess so you call I'm not like I said growing up I was like I'm like yeah I liked my little pony and stuff but I never really got into like 
getting horses. And I know I watch like um, my froggy stuff and they collect a lot of horses as well and stuff like that. Like I, like I said, I didn't really get into it, but now I'm like, hmm, I get the appeal. I like sitting here brushing my horse's hair and then putting dolls on it so she can go ride off in Arizona, which is where Sky is from. And the detail on the saddle is really good too. Uh, it's like got the straps around it and it is like, it can come off. I don't know if this is real leather or not. I hope it's not. I mean, I me as being vegan, I'm kind of like, don't like the leather material. But again, it does look well made, so I can appreciate it from that standpoint. And I want to give you guys like a perspective of how tall the horse is. So I've got my Midge doll, and staying next to it, it it looks like real horse sizing. <laughs> like it was like to scale, I guess I'll call it that. And then if something wants to ride, let me see, let me get, mm, I've got a bunch of dolls here. So let me see, I got my Monster High dolls here. Let's see, does Dracula want to go on a horse ride? Let's see, so legs open, bending on the thing. Oh yeah, hmm, my Draculaura fits on that. Interesting, I'm gonna be taking some pictures on Instagram here then <laughs> for you guys to see. I think she's really, really pretty. I like the face and the shape to it. I mean, if someone's, you know, that gets really into horses, they recommend this for ages five and up. It's a really lightweight toy as well, so it's not too heavy, so your kid can take it around with them if they wanted to. I like it, and like I said, I never was into horses growing up, and now I'm like, hmm, I get the appeal. I think it's cute, and my dolls want to ride off into the sunset <laughs> with this. <laughs> and I know there's a lot of other different horses out there, but this one, like I said, I like the accessories that it comes with. I like, what's sucking me in is the roses in the hair. I feel like she's just so beautiful and graceful. So comment below, what do you guys think? Again, these are called Saddle Stars. Um, this particular one is called Sky. Um, stay tuned at the end and I'll post a picture of this doll on it <laughs> so you guys can see what uh, a 12 inch doll would look like on this particular horse. Thank you so much Blue Toys for sending me this. Like I said, it's my first horse to go with my dolls. I've never had one before ever growing up. <laughs> so it's really interesting. Here I am, hi. So like I said, comment below, let me know what you guys think. And I think this is really sweet. Hmm. Interesting comment. Have you guys had the horses growing up? I haven't. <laughs> Bye guys.